안녕하세요. 안착희입니다. Thank you for joining this edition of Let's Be Korean. 지승현 선생님, 안녕하세요. 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 지승현입니다. 만나서 반갑습니다. And it's going to be fun and interesting lesson for you. 네, 반갑습니다. Okay, in our last lesson, we learned how to ask and answer questions about the date. Let's get a quick review now. I'm going to ask 선생님 when her birthday is. 선생님, 생일이 몇월 며칠이에요? 2월 2일이에요. 안착기 씨, 생일이 몇월 며칠이에요? 10월 31일이에요. Okay, now we're going to stay on this subject in this lesson. Now, this time we're going to learn how to ask what day of the week it is. Now, let's go to the clip first. Mike, did you sleep well? 네. 마이크 씨 어디 가요? 학교에 가요. 학교에 가요? 네. 왜요? 마이크 씨는 오늘도 학교에 가요? 네. 오늘이 무슨 요일이에요? 일요일이에요. 네. Oh, it seems that Michael has done it again. Okay, he wakes up late and has to rush through getting ready. He has to pack his bag and then leave for school. But we saw Minuk looking at Michael in a really strange way. And when Michael says that he's going to school, Minuk looks at him in an even stranger way. Now, this is when Michael asks Minuk what day of the week it is. And Minuk's answer is that it is Sunday. Now, I'm sure all of us can identify with Michael on this one. Well, then, here's a check of the expressions in this lesson. We'll learn how to ask and answer questions about what day of the week it is. We state the day of the week with the expression for the day followed by Yoiriyeyo. When we want to ask for the day of the week, we can say, Musun Yoiriyeyo. Well then, let's go over the new words that we will come across in this lesson. Now, please repeat after 선생님. 월요일. 화요일. 수요일. 목요일. 금요일. 토요일. 일요일. Good try. Now here's another look at the clip. So please pay careful attention to how Minuk and Michael ask for the day of the week and also how they answer it. Now, Michael asked Minuk what day of the week it is today, and the answer is that it is Sunday. Now, how would we say this in Korean? There are seven days of the week, and all we have to do in Korean is add the seven words. To the word yoil to turn them into the day of the week. Now, I guess you could say that the word yoil here is roughly equivalent to the English word day. Now, let's get another listen to those words. Woryoil. Hwayoil. Suyoil. Mogyoil. Gumyoil. Toyoil. Today is what day is it? 
일이에요. Michael asks Minook what day of the week it is today. What day is it today? Let's try this in Korean. 오늘이 무슨 요일이에요? Um, here are some more examples. 선생님 and I are going to go through them, so I suggest that you follow along. 무슨 요일이에요? 화요일이에요. 무슨 요일이에요? 목요일이에요. 무슨 요일이에요? 토요일이에요. 무슨 요일이에요? 월요일이에요. Let's now get a wrap up of all the expressions that we have learned up to this lesson that are related to time and date. Now, how would we say what day of the week is your birthday on, Minuk? Minuk 씨 생일이 무슨 요일이에요? It's Saturday. 토요일이에요. Which month did you come to Korea? 몇 월에 한국에 왔어요? I came to Korea in May. 5월에 한국에 왔어요. What time do you go to school? 몇 시에 학교에 가요? I am going at 8.30. 8시 30분에 가요. How long does it take to Seoul Station? 서울역까지 얼마나 걸려요? It takes 40 minutes. 40분 걸려요. I hope you remembered all of those expressions that we learned in our earlier lessons. So now you know how to ask for the time, the date, and the day of the week all in Korean. Now practice them because I'm sure they'll come in very handy. for some more new expressions in this lesson. Now let's begin with the new words that we came across. Now it was in the expression that Minuk used as soon as Michael woke up from his sleep. Now what did he say? 잘 잤어요? 잘 here means well and 잤어요 is a question form in the past tense and comes from the infinitive 자다 to sleep. So in English it would be something like did you sleep well? Okay, now would you like to try saying this? 잘 잤어요? 잘 잤어요? Time now to wrap up this lesson. Let's go over the expressions one by one along with the clip. 